The Passover and the Feast of Unleavened Bread were to take place in two days' time. So the chief priests and the scribes were seeking a way to arrest him by treachery and put him to death. They said, not during the festival, for fear, for fear that there may be a riot among the people. Reclining a table in the house of Simon the leper, a woman came with an alabaster jar of perfumed oil, costly, genuine, spike not. She broke the alabaster jar and poured it on his head. There were some. Who were indignant? Why has there been this waste of perfumed oil? This could have been sold for more than 300 days' wages. And the money given to the poor. They were infuriated with her. Jesus said, let her alone. for her. She has done a good thing for me. She has done a good thing for me. The poor you will always have with you. And whenever you wish, you can do good to them. But you will not always have me. She has done what she could. She has anticipated I say to you, wherever the gospel is proclaimed to the whole world, he has done. what she has done will be told in memory of And Judas Iscariot, one of the twelve, went off to the chief priest to hand him over to them. When they heard him, they were pleased and offered to pay him. He looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, when they sacrificed the Passover lamb, the disciples said, Where do you want us to go and prepare for you to eat the Passover? He sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the city and a man will meet you, carrying a jar of water. Follow him wherever he enters. Say to the master of the house, the teacher says, Where is my guest? Where I may eat the Passover with, with my, my disciples, disciples, then he will show you a large upper room, furnished and ready. Make the preparations for us there. The disciples then went off, entered the city, and found it just as he had told them. And they prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he came.
came with the twelve And as they reclined at table And were reading Jesus said Amen, I say to you One of you will betray me One who is eating with me They began to be distressed And to say to him One by one Surely the one is who not dips I. with me into the dish For the Son of Man goes as it is written of him But woe, but, but woe, woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed It would be better for that man if he had never While they were eating, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them, and said, Take it, this is my body. Then he took a cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, and they all drank from it. Said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which will be shed for many. Amen, I say to you, I shall not drink again the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Then after singing a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus said to them, All of you will have your faith shaken, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep will be dispersed. All of you will have your faith shaken, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep will be dispersed. But after I have been raised up, I shall go before you to Galilee. But after I have been raised up, I shall go before you to Galilee. Peter said to him, even though all should have their faith shaken, mine will not be. Amen, I say to you this very night, before the cock crows twice, you will deny me, you will deny me, you will deny me. Even though I should have to die with you, I will not deny you. And they all spoke similarly. I will not deny you. I will not you. deny you.
that if it were possible, the hour might pass by him. He said, Abba, Father, all things are possible to you. Take this cup away from me, but not what I will, but what you When he returned, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, Simon, Simon are, you asleep? are you asleep? Could you not keep watch for one hour? Watch, watch and, and pray, pray that you may not undergo the test. The spirit, the spirit is willing, but the flesh, but the flesh is is the one, arrest him and lead him away. Secure thee. He came and immediately went over to him and said, Rabbi, as he kissed him. At this thing, the high priest's servant and cut off his ear. Have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to seize me? Day after day, I was with you, teaching in the temple area, yet you did not arrest me, but that the scriptures may be fulfilled. and followed him, wearing nothing but a linen cloth about his body. They seized him, but he left the cloth behind and ran off naked. <laughs> Jesus away to the high priest and all the chief priests and the elders and the scribes came together. Peter followed him at a distance into the high priest's courtyard and was seated with the guards warming himself at the fire. The chief priests and the entire Sanhedrin kept trying to obtain in order to put him to death. But they found none. Then he gave false witness a 
against him. Their testimony did not agree. Some took the stand and testified falsely against him. Alleging. We heard him say, We heard him say, I will destroy this temple made with hands. We heard him within three days, I will build another not made with hands. Even so, their testimony did not agree. The high priest rose before the assembly and questioned Jesus. Have you no answer? What are these men testifying against you? But he was silent and answered nothing. Again the high priest asked him and said, Are you the Messiah, the Son of the Blessed One? I am, and you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power and coming from the clouds the of clouds heaven. needs have we of witnesses you have heard the blasphemy what do you think what do you think they all condemned him as deserving to die they all condemned him as deserving to die Courtyard, one of the high priest maids came along, seeing Peter warming himself. She looked intently at him and said, You two were with the Nazarene Jesus, but he denied it, saying, I neither know nor understand what you are talking about. So we went out into the outer court. Then the cock crowed. The maid saw him and began again to say to the bystanders, This man is one of them. Once again he denied it. A little later, the bystanders said to Peter once more, Surely you are one. And immediately a cock crowed a second time. Then Peter remembered the word that Jesus had said to him. Before the cock crows twice, you will deny me. You will deny me, you will deny me three times. He broke down and wept. As soon as morning came, the chief priests and the elders and the scribes, that is, the whole Sanhedrin held a council. Jews, you 
say so. The chief priest accused him of many things. Have you no answer? See how many things they accuse you of. Jesus gave him no further answer. So that Pilate was amazed. Now on the occasion of the feast, he used to release to them one prisoner whom they requested. A man called Barabbas was then in prison along with the rebels who had committed murder in a rebellion. Do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? For he knew that it was out of envy that the chief priests had handed him over. But the chief priest stirred up the crowd to have him release Barabbas. 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 For them instead. Then what do you want me to do with the man you call the king of the Jews? Crucify him! 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 What evil has he done? Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him! To satisfy the crowds released Barabbas to them and after he had Jesus scourged handed him over to be crucified The soldiers led him away inside the palace that is the Praetorium and assembled the whole court. They clothed him. the Jews. Hail, King of the Jews. Hail, King of the Jews. And kept striking, kept striking, kept striking, kept striking, kept striking his head with a reed. And spitting upon him, they knelt before him in homage. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the purple cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, and led him out to They pressed into service a passerby, Simon the Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. They brought him to the place Golgotha, which is translated place of the skull. They gave him wine drugged with myrrh, but he did not take. 
crucified him and divided his garments by casting lots for them to see what each should take. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. The the charge against him read the king. and saying, aha, you who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself by coming down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priests with the scribes mocked him among themselves and said, he saved others, he cannot save himself. The veil of the sanctuary was torn in two from top to bottom when the centurion who stood facing him saw how he breathed his last. He said, truly this man was the Son of God. 
was already evening Since it was the day of preparation The day before the Sabbath Joseph of Arimathea A distinguished member of the council Who was himself awaiting the kingdom Against the entrance to the tomb. 